Okay, welcome back. So, what we've been, what I'm going to show you first before we get into smooth, uh, before we get into distributing it out our icing so that it looks a lot nicer and more realistic, is something. It's a modifier called subdivision surface. So what it does is, if I apply the subdivision surface to this icing here, what it's going to do is it's going to multiply the amount of faces we have by four essentially. So if I take that off, if you look at these four here, it becomes that one. So what it does is it just splits all of our faces. Every edge we have, it puts another edge in between each of them. So that is going to make our object a lot smoother. So that is going to help in the long run. Also, the great thing about this is you can... Rendering times always take a lot longer the more faces you have. So what you can do is you can add this in later on into your project and do your final renders with a lot more definition than your testing ones. It is really great for that especially. I'm just going to apply this just on one at the moment to each of our pieces here just to make it look a little bit nicer and if we apply smooth to them now it still looks great looks even better even so you can see here if you look at the edges that's what it was like before that's what it looks like now that's what it could look like if we wanted to but i'm going to leave it on one so that my rendering doesn't take forever okay so next thing we're going to do is right click on the icing, go into edit mode, and now you can see the lines underneath this, which will make life a lot easier because we're going to be editing where these go. So if you just, if I do that at the moment, you can see that's kind of almost what we want to be doing, but there's a way we can do it that makes it just is a lot better. So if we go here, this is the where the proportional editing modes are. So I'm going to go to enable and then select random. If I try that again now, it's going to move some of the stuff around it. So just go along and it might actually be better working with vertexes rather than edges. Yeah, I think that's a little better. So go around selecting some vertexes and just give it some real life lookiness. Actually, I'm going to raise this one up a bit just because it's going to change. Let's not be too consistent. Okay, let's give that a quick render. So you can see now that our donut is looking pretty good, it's looking a little bit more human with that bit there. Honestly, I might think about giving it a little bit more, just it doesn't look perfect, but it's looking a little nicer. Also. I have realized that deleting the bit in the middle is, it doesn't look that good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that first video and tell you guys to not delete that bit in the middle because that was silly. Okay. That's it for this one. The next one is going to get onto how we can add sprinkles. Thanks.